Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 24th, 2019. So, hey, everyone, hopefully you had a good day yesterday. I hope things looked pretty good for you as we kind of chopped around in the market, gapping up, then whipsawing down and whipsawing right back up. Let's take a look at a quick a, a 15 minute chart here you can see here was our gap up we just zoomed up here in the morning slammed into some price resistance whipsawed all the way back down filling the gap and then in the afternoon finding some buyers coming in whipping this back up so just in a, a kind of a rough price action day with lots of emotion lots of whipsawing back and forth if we take a look at our moving averages here you can see we've done a good job to this point holding that 50-day moving average and holding these other moving averages as we create that little bit of of a uh, moving average squeeze um, in this area trying to provide a little bit of support if we take a look at um, how I've drawn this chart up we still have to deal with this resistance on the Dow the Dow is still uh, beneath that resistance also we are holding above this support so that's a good thing and I want to I want to remind everyone that even if we do fail the 50-day moving average please keep in mind this is a fairly significant level of support in here if we were to drop down into here all is not lost we still have an opportunity to rally from there. But what I'm hoping we continue to see is just this little resting consolidation in here. Um, I would actually like to see the volatility drop out of it a little bit, but just kind of consolidate nice and tight in here to give us that place where we can either pop higher and move up through this resistance or we finally break down giving us a directional move so we'll have to watch this close but right now I, th I think we're in a pretty good position and I'm really happy with the consolidation so far um, it was needed <clears throat> we needed this rest we needed this break in the market to kind of settle things down and so far, those bulls are defending those support levels, and that's exactly what we want to see. Unfortunately, we have so many um, events out there causing us um, worry and concern here in the market. We had IMF's Lagarde come out again talking about global showdown, this time targeting directly to China, saying that could be uh, very upsetting to markets if uh, China continues to slow the way they are. Also, we have all the politi political issues, both domestic and, 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 and foreign, that are creating lots of tension in the markets right now. And if we look at the, the markets around the world last night, they're all just kind of mixed and muted today. Not exactly sure which way to go. And then we toss in the element of earnings season and how that might unfold and um, really change the appearance of the market. So here again, just a little bit tenuous um, with all of these issues. And it really is only going to take one event to really um, substantially change our chart appearance here. Um, so we're going to have to be prepared and really be on our toes. Um, be careful not to be overcommitted in one direction because, um, as we know, uh, it unfortunately occurs quite often is a reversal could re could happen at any time overnight where there's nothing we can do about it it just gaps in a direction and and there we stand so as long as we stay locked in this consolidation i feel pretty comfortable but i don't want to be overcommitted um, in one direction or another until I start to see clues of where that direction might resolve itself. Um, once again, here we had a really good day yesterday, even though we whipsawed substantially. We're holding above this support level, and that is a good sign. We can hold in this area. We'll be in a great place here for the market. We're also holding above that 50-day moving average, hanging in there, getting that little moving average squeeze going on, hanging in there, so looking pretty good here on the SPY. 
just remember, this can shift very, very quickly. And we saw that yesterday, how quickly that sentiment of that 170 point gap up in the market gets completely reversed, um, you know, during the day. So we're going to have to be very, very cautious how we approach this and, and just really stay focused on price action. Let's take a look at uh, the queues. NASDAQ holding up very well. Um, also, holding up above its 50-day moving average. We've tested that hard a couple of times, and now pushing back higher, we actually have a really good pattern. In fact, if this was a showed a follow-through here to the upside, just like that, that, that would create a beautiful Morningstar pattern. But my guess is looking at the futures this morning, that's not what we're going to see unless we have some really good earnings come out here before the open. My guess is we're going to continue to kind of move sideways in this area and consolidation, um, resting at least for the for now as we wait for some element to really move us along um if we look at iwm that russell also very same situation all four of these indexes really showing that consolidation look that little resting pullback that just a tenuous situation here where we're trying to figure out with all these all of these elements pulling and pushing on the market which one is going to win what side of this will resolve so watch this closely. Um, let's take a look at the VIX. The old VIX. Let's go back to this chart here. And the VIX, finding that support right off of this price level right here and pushing just a little bit higher. Now, yesterday's rally back up, you can see we pushed up when we when we sold off that fear was creeping into the market and then we lost it all the way back down um, moving that back lower as the bulls came in and defended that support level um, toward the end of the day so still kind of bouncing around here we're still in that situation where it really wouldn't be much of an effort for this to pop up into here we just don't want to see that fear break through this level um, if we bounce around in in this area I think we're okay um, what I want to see of course is I want to see this support level right here break and move us down to this next level of major support and just pulling some of that fear out of the market but what I want and what I get, usually two very different things. Um, <laughs> and so we just have to wait and watch this price action and react to what we see. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122, four week, new high, new low ratio. You can see we tried yesterday on that sell off. We tried pulling this back down into here and then those bulls pushed it right back up here. So we remain up here in this area of, uh, you know, a concern point, that potential reversal um, area here in the market. We re remain very high. That doesn't mean we can't go higher, okay? So please keep in mind this resting pullback that we've had. Um, it can still pop us higher if we get some good news in here, but we're reaching that or we're up there in that point where we have to be a little bit careful about being overcommitted long and, and just realize that's a wise thing anyway, because if we were to look at the markets, let's take a look just really quick here and, and just focus in on this resistance uh, zone right in here where we have just tons and tons of price resistance above us. And that's on all of our indexes. So we have this big resistance zone up here and we've been pushing, 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 trying to break through or break into that zone. And we still could just realize that that resistance will have an effect on current price action in the chart. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar today. We have a few things that can move us around. Obviously, we have our weekly jobless claims coming in here uh, right before the market opens, you know, 8.30 Eastern. Nothing really big here. PMI flash leading indicators, they, they're not expected to move the market around. They always mark EIA natural gas report as something that can move the market, but I never see that really have a, a major effect. Kansas City, City Fed 
Fed Manufacturing Index, another one of those reports, unlikely to move. We do have the petroleum status report, and that certainly can move the market around if we happen to see a, uh, a surprise build or a surprise decline in those oil supplies. Um, also, just a ton of bond announcements and auctions today, and then Fed balance sheet here at the end of the day, which would be unlikely to move the market at all. So there you go. There's your day. Keep in mind, tomorrow we have a couple orders, um, um, things on the calendar that definitely could have an effect on the market, and that being durable goods orders and new home sales. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Let's take a look on the economic calendar. We have our biggest day this week, about 125 companies reporting earnings. And we have um, some, you know, just really big reports um, coming out that definitely could have an effect on the market. So we'll want to keep an eye on those as those earnings results roll out this morning. Um, they can certainly move us around. Currently, futures are pretty much flat. We've got uh, the Dow futures that are run, been kind of bouncing between about 10 points up to 30 points up, just kind of bouncing around in there. Pretty flat on the day. Um, the um, S&P 500 is only running about three, three points higher um, right now so just kind of a flat tenuous open this morning uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that so hey with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day and i want to wish you great profits and if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor click that subscribe button on youtube follow me button on facebook click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment i truly appreciate it you guys i gotta tell you you guys are helping this channel grow you're helping um, me reach more folks out there with this information and thank you so much for that because every time you click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment um, it helps those algorithms say well folks kind of like this folks are commenting on this um, we're going to show this to more people and that is certainly helping so thank you very very much you guys are awesome and i truly appreciate that so let's take a look at uh, the possibility of some um trade ideas that are showing up out there. There's some really, really good trade ideas showing up out there. Let's take a look at C, Citibank. Citibank, after this really nice run-up, notice that Citibank broke this downtrend here, holding this nice trend. We got a little carried away. We moved a little bit too far too fast. But you can see we've broken through this level of resistance right here, and we're consolidating in this really tight range. It's a pattern that I like I call pop out of the box, and what I'm waiting for, because we are currently in an uptrend and break it, have broken the downtrend, I'm watching and waiting for that next signal, that possibility that we're going to pop out of that box and continue this trend higher. So watching Citibank fairly closely here this uh, pink line up here is actually an alert and I always put those pink lines on my chart so members can see exactly where I'm looking um, for um, potential trades to set up um, EA EA continues to be a beautiful uh, pattern set up here we had a real bearish day on it yesterday but we didn't break down through support so I'm continuing to watch EA for a potential setup here looks really really good a very similar pattern would be Roku Roku just that nice little consolidating pattern moving over toward its trend by the way that's a, something you guys will notice a lot if you draw a trend line on a chart stocks will typically move back to its trend with either a consolidation to its trend or a pullback to its trend before it moves. As a matter of fact, if I point that out here on the short side, break down, come back to its trend, break down, come back to its trend, break down, find a way back to its trend. Okay, so, and the up moves, move up, move over toward its trend and move up come back to its trend and move up, move over toward its trend and moved up, move up. One of the most common patterns in the market, pay attention to that on every single chart. Trends are very, very important. Um, let's take a look at um, BBBY. BBBY 
is another one of those patterns. Nice little tight consolidation, breaking through a resistance level. Now this has an actual trend, if I were to draw this right here, about there, that would suggest that we have an opportunity that as long as this continues to consolidate in here, this could easily move all the way over to here before it goes. But we always have to be prepared for the possibility that this will change its trend trajectory. So if we were, we watch this really nice tight consolidation, if this were to pop on through out of the top over here someplace, then that trend has obviously changed to a little bit sharper trend and we watch that trend for those entries into the trade. What I like about the possibility of this, if it does come off and 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 go the way I'd, I'd like it to go, we do have a nice open gap over here that could be filled and a nice move uh, for that chart. So lots of good potential trades out there. We just have to be a little bit careful. Another might be Schlumberger. Schlumberger um, breaking um, its downtrend here, as you can see, breaking this downtrend, moving up nicely getting a nice little resting consolidation here after this gap up we'll want to watch this in here and once again if I were to throw that trend and trend on here uh, we may have a few more days to wait before that can maybe catch that trend and move on up so watch that closely um, in the chart everyone have an awesome awesome day thank you for uh, supporting this channel I really do appreciate it you guys are awesome and with that, I want to wish everyone a great day. We'll see you all bright and early Friday morning. Take care of yourselves and never give up on your dream of being a trader and your dream of um, trading full time. Everyone take care. We'll talk to you soon.